we've been talking about kind of the trajectory of the Middle East and, you know, the issue of Iran and Israel and uh, God's plans and the craziness that's about to explode. Uh, let's talk a little bit maybe what the scripture uh, is pointing towards these times. We, you know, you've said it, we're living in the end times. Let's talk a little bit about that, Brother David. Okay, well, you know, I have got born again about 31 years ago, and way back then I got connected with a, uh, a ministry, an end-time evangelist who spoke about the end times. So that's been my focus mm. uh, for, a, for a long time. Then I kind of got away from it, got more into the Israel thing. But over the last few years, God's brought it back into my right. focus because really the truth is you can't separate there, Israel yeah. from the end times. Right. And, uh, you know, I know that down through the ages, good Bible-believing Christians all expected the Lord to come in their lifetime. In their time, yeah. And of course, I think Paul told us to be, we need to be ready. Uh, but obviously he didn't, he hasn't come yet. And I truly believe we are, I've mentioned it once or twice in these interviews, that we are living in the end times. Mm -hmm. And you know, Yeshua, I think it's in uh, Luke, or Matthew or Luke, he talked, he, one of the few times he rebukes the people around him, he said, look, you guys, you know the weather tomorrow by the signs in the sky, but you don't know the signs of the times mm. in which you live. And you know, conversely to that, the Bible commends the sons of Issachar because mm. they understood the times in which they yes. live. And if we truly are living in the end times, then we need to be aware of that and we need to be ready for ourselves and for our family and our friends and for whatever else Absolutely. God has called me to do. So I have a message that I preach. It's not, I don't call it the signs of the times. I call it the times of the signs hmm. because I believe there are some very clear biblical based signs that we are truly living in the end times and right. the prophets you know the prophets said um at the, in the at the end of the age or in the last days those are words of they're they're, they're time indicators mm. so one of the things that the, the prophet said would happen in the at the end of the age or at the in, in the end times that god would bring the jewish people back to the land right and uh, as we've already said in a previous interview, uh, there are now 8 million Jews living in Israel. Most of them have come back uh, from v every corner of the earth over the yeah. last 100 years. More inside than outside of Israel. Then, and actually we passed a threshold yeah. um, that there are more known, knowing Jews living in the land than outside of the land. That right. was just a year or so ago. So that's a real Big historic threshold. moment, yeah. They're still coming home at a thousand a week, but it's increasing because of the increase in, uh, in persecution and anti-Semitism. Right. And, um, you know, this might sound like a strange thing for a Jewish person to say, but we don't pray against anti-Semitism mm. uh, because it's what God uses to bring the Jewish people home. And God, wow. God needs all the Jewish people home for the end times to be fulfilled and for the words mm. of the prophets to be fulfilled to release Yeshua to come back. Right. So we don't pray against the anti-Semitism because we saw God use it back in the 90s again when communism came down. Uh, when communism came down, the ruble fell. And at that time, there were millions of Jews living in the former Soviet Union. The ruble came down. As the ruble went down, the anti-Semitism went up and they blamed the Jewish people. Oh, wow. But as that, as that anti-Semitism and persecution went up, the, it was proportionate to the number of Jewish people getting out and coming to Israel. Mm. And, you know, generally speaking, most people uh, don't get up on mass and leave a country if life is good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So but God clearly from the scriptures, he wants all of the Jewish people back in the land. So the fact that they're still coming home at a thousand a week, it's on the increase. So again, if uh, if your view is if anybody's praying against anti-Semitism, please don't pray that you, you can pray. You can pray, God, please don't let anybody be hurt or, or Protect, injured. Yeah. But uh, you know, God says in one of the passages in Zephaniah, I'm gonna I'm gonna whistle mm. for my people. So what you can pray is that God would whistle louder, that the Jewish people will hear that whistle and, and, and begin to move from you know from Canada and Europe and wherever it may be. And actually it was the iron curtain that held them in the in the in the east. What ho holds them back in the west, my wife calls it the the golden. The golden the curtain. Golden wow. curtain. And see, this is one of the reasons I believe why the money system is going to crash and things are going to get tougher because mm. God's going to, he's going to do whatever he needs to do to shake the Jewish people yeah. out, of the, out, of, out of the nations where they are. So that's number one sign uh, that they are coming home. Paul says in Romans 11, 26, 27, one day, as it is written, all Israel 
will be saved. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there are 300 congregations and growing in Israel and around the nations. Yeah, that's another sign. Yep, Absolutely. and I believe the third sign and the last thing really that I believe God is doing is I believe that God created Israel to be an apostolic nation. Mm. You know, even at Mount Sinai, we were called to be a light to the nations. Right. And, you know, before the days of the Internet, the only way you could influence the nations was to go to the nations. And, right. You know, even the last words that Yeshua spoke on earth in Matthew 28, 19, and he was speaking to the Jewish apostles and disciples, you know, the church calls it the Great Commission, commission yeah. but it was given to Israel. Mm, and he said, go right. into the nation. So that was just a that was just a reconfirmation from the very mouth of Yeshua of that apostolic calling uh, on the nations. And now I know that in the church, the word apostle, it, it kind of, it's a big deal. But you know, in Israel, it's not such a big deal because the word apostle is the Hebrew word uh, shaliach, shaliach, which comes from the word lishloach, to send out. You know, into Israel today, we call the delivery, the parcel delivery guy, the postman, he is called a shaliach. He's an apostle? He's an, he's an <laughs> apostle. <laughs> wow, isn't that interesting? Because <laughs> he's sent out by the post office to to bring your mail. So it's not such a big deal. We are mm. It just simply means someone who has sent out, us out and God has called us to be a light to the nation. So um, those of us who have this calling uh, in our, you know, it's, it's in my bones actually. Yeah, well, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm out of the country. At you're least one of those ones. I, I'm yeah. one of the 40 or 50 of us that are currently traveling the nations. But you know, the final fulfillment of that of all of that, as all of the Jews have to be back in the land, mm. all Israel needs to be saved, and there needs to be 144,000 Messianic Jewish apostolic evangelists. We wow. don't have to label ourselves with, we just have to go and do what right. God's called us to do. And then wow, it says, and then the end shall come. Mm. So I believe those are, those are the signs that we truly are living in the end times. And of course, there are lots of other end time ministries, but you know, um, I remember I was going to England to do a speaking tour once, and one of the pastors who invited me, he sent me an email. He said, David, will you come to my church? Please don't speak about the end times. He, oh. said, because, yeah, he said, because we've heard so much wrong teaching, our people are tired of it. Mm. And I wrote back and I said, Pastor, you know, you're absolutely right. There is a lot of wrong teaching out there. But the reason is... Israel is the apple of God's eye. Israel is God's time clock. Mm, and all yes. of these other, or most of these other ministries don't put Israel in the center of their end time, you know, eschatology, it's mm. called. And if you don't put Israel into the, into the very center of your, of your end time uh, eschatology to unlock the, the mystery, you can't possibly get it right. Right. So yeah. what I'm saying is that uh, if you really want to know where we are in prophetic time, even study the feast, because the biblical feasts lay out God's prophetic time clock. True. But watch Israel. Right. <laughs> you know, if Israel's the apple of God's eye, Israel needs to be the apple of all of our eye. We need to watch it. And mm. uh, you know, the, 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 again, just to finish off on a, on a call to prayer, um, it's underway. Yes. Uh, the, there are, the Jews are coming home. We're coming to faith and we're coming back to the nations. And if the, if, the, if the believers in Canada and around the world want to fulfill that calling to stand with Israel and to bless Israel and to hasten the day, of the Lord's return, simply pray the scriptures. Amen. Pray that God will continue to bring the Jewish people home. Pray that he'll continue to bring us into faith and that he will raise up the other 143,950 <laughs> <laughs> Messianic and evangelists and then wow. the end will come. Well, what we're seeing it unfold before our very eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's continue to pray. You know, Canadian church, if you want to see these, many of these prophetic things fulfilled, you know, right before your eyes, if the Lord opens the door, come with the ICJ to Israel. Come visit uh, Brother David Amen. on Mount Carmel. Yeah, please do. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, you, you'll never go wrong if you can make it to Israel one day to actually see it unfold before your very and eyes. And your life will never be the same again. Absolutely, absolutely. The Bible comes way. to life. <laughs> Bible comes to life. Wonderful, Brother David. Thank you. Please share this video. And on YouTube, click the button below to become a subscriber.